Hey guys, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well and I hope life is treating you good. I've got a really exciting video. It's a one that I've been wanting to do for a while but I just never got around to filming it. So, a lot of you joined us from a video that I made about two, maybe even three years ago where I went to Chloe Ferry's salon and reviewed some of the treatments that they do. I actually reviewed the makeup artist, Maya, and then I also got my nails done at the salon as well. Since that video, I was so impressed with Maya's makeup skills that nearly every single time I've got my makeup done, I've gone to Maya. I've had loads of looks from her. I honestly thought it was a really great video and it introduced us to Maya, which for me was just a bonus. For those of you who don't follow Chloe on social media, she does actually have her own cosmetic line, Chloe Ferry Cosmetics, and I've seen it float around many, many times. I've seen her like post about it on her stories and stuff, advertising it, and I've always been intrigued about it. So today, I've seen that they had a sale on last week, so I bought some of the items and today I'm just going to be testing it. Isn't enough products to do a full face of makeup so I have got some of my normal products as well which I will apply and then the steps that I can apply Chloe's makeup or products then I will. Because you like the salon video so much I thought this would be a really good video to do. I just thought it was a nice video to sit down and test some new makeup. I'm really into makeup recently. I kind of went through a phase of just not really caring about makeup at all but as of recent I do like experimenting and playing with looks on my face. So yeah, that's what this video is going to be. If you would like us to do any other videos like this where I test makeup or anything like that, I actually have a really exciting one coming very soon. Then let us know in the comments below if you would like us to do any other videos kind of similar to this one or if you just don't like the concept of this video, then also let me know. So I just want to quickly start this video by saying I bought all these products myself and I have absolutely no affiliation to Chloe. When you order, I got this cute little leaflet with Chloe on and then obviously you got one with her makeup as well but yeah so I'm really excited to give it a go let's just start now they don't have a foundation currently although they do have a face section on the website with like something coming soon or something like that so maybe that's a product that's launching soon but at the time of filming this video and ordering they currently didn't have one so I'm going to go in with my normal foundation I'm going to do my base products which is my foundation concealer and contour and the first product that I'm going to test is a loose powder it looks like yeah I actually really like the packaging of this product it's in kind of like a is it monochrome okay oh my god that is actually really cute packaging so this again has like the kind of monochrome effect um, and then you can see the powder there which is just a light loose powder not gonna lie not really a fan of loose powders I do prefer a compact however I'm gonna do my base products and then I will come back when I'm going to apply this so I've done my base products I've done my foundation and contour this be these were the exact same products and the exact same method that I used when I did the video with my mom so I'll have that linked below so I'm gonna go in with the loose powder and give it a go Oh, it actually comes with a sponge. To be honest, I never usually use sponges, but I don't know whether I give it a go. It hasn't got like a grid or anything on it. You know how like, I feel like with loose powders, it usually has a grid. Oh no, okay, it does. It does actually have a grid, but it's just quite a lot of the products come at the top. I'm going to go in with a sponge. Why the hell not? Okay. Okay, I've just literally put a layer of powder there. What the fuck am I doing? Okay. Look, it's definitely gone really matte on my face. Personally, I do not. I prefer a luminous look. So I feel like it's gone a little bit too matte for me, but it's all right. We can move on from that. The product I got is the highlight. I'm going to go in with my own bronze, actually. I just feel like I need to give myself a bit bronze. Um, the bronzer when I did the order was actually out of stock so I am just going in with my normal bronze right we're going to go in with a highlight this is in the one sparkle again quite nice packaging plain pink it's just got the normal writing on this is like quite a cute shape though oh okay this is what it looks like I like how it's like three dimensional like let's do a swatch of this actually Oh, ooh, that's actually really pretty. Just a little bit on my nose. Oh, see, this highlight is kind of a bit more like glitter. So you have to be very subtle with it. I've picked up like quite a bit there. It's actually so pigmented. I feel like back when highlight I first become a thing, this was definitely the type of highlight I would have used. I feel like nowadays though my preference is definitely more of a subtle highlighter but if you still like a really really 
a really boom highlight then you're gonna really like this you know what that would actually be really pretty as an eyeshadow and I couldn't get a hold of the eyeshadow palette so I might actually try and use this as part of an eyeshadow look okay the next thing that I got is the Chloe Cos Cosmetics brow soap Chloe Fairy Cosmetics yeah fuck a little bent spoolie and then your soap it's just like a clear gel it hasn't actually got any um smell or anything and then do you just oh, i don't what it's obviously meant to be bent but it's kind of like confusing us oh yeah i can definitely see the products getting picked up you can see it like swooshing around that's actually really satisfying to watch that's actually working really well bearing in mind i've never used a brow soap in my life before but I like how easy it's like moving my brow hairs around. It's actually really cute. I like that a lot. I feel like I will use that quite often because it like is giving us such a good shape with my brow. Oh, okay. I've got lip products now. I have this one, which I believe is one of the lipsticks. Yeah, okay. So I got the shade Chloe and it's quite a dark brown because that's what shade I like. And then on... Yeah, I really wanted one of these little tube glosses. I feel like they're so cute, like YK, YK, YK. Anyway, so. Mine's is the one I used to love, a really dark lay. <laughs> this is bringing us back to like me a good few years ago. I don't wear this dark anymore. You know what though? It's actually like really, really, really buttery. I ordered the... um yeah matte liquid lipstick but it's actually like I remember the nyx ones i used to use years ago in this kind of brown color were like really crusty but this is really it's actually really smooth okay i love gloss though gloss is like what i prefer so i'm gonna go in with this gloss this is just the chloe fairy cosmetics gloss in divine it actually looks like a shade i would wear all the time oh hook <laughs> i did not mean for that to happen With the tube, I feel like it is very hard to control how much product comes out. Because I just like squeezed it and quite a bit more than I would have liked shot out. See, like as soon as I like squeeze it, loads comes out. That's probably just my inability to use this though because I haven't like used one of them before. But pigment wise, how pigmented is that? It's actually really pretty colour. And what I like about this is actually the size is smaller. So if I'm going on a night out, I could carry that in my handbag. Um, well, I'm not like I couldn't carry one that size, but it's bigger. If you want a little handbag, you know, the struggles. I like it because it's not sticky. Sticky gloss, not for me, but I like that. So what I'm going to do is get the um, highlight, wherever the hell I've put it. Yeah, and I'm going to get my bronzer and I'm going to try and do an eyeshadow look. Okay, so I've ran one colour, I kind of just, I don't know what I've done with it. Right, I'm going to go in with a flat brush with this highlight. It's actually gorgeous as an eyeshadow. Okay guys, so this is the eyeshadow look. I feel like the window might be showing like not showing you the pigment very well but the eyeshadow the highlighter as an eyeshadow is actually gorgeous like so pigmented and easy to blend i prefer it as an eyeshadow over a highlight if i'm going to be completely honest okay guys so this is the finished makeup my full review of the products i would highly recommend the lip products i really like them i feel like the matte products are really buttery so you could wear them as a matte but not feel like crusty on your lips i really like the gloss i did find the tube a little harder to use i feel like it does bring out a lot more product than I kind of needed but that's probably me just never really using that type of lip gloss before 
eyebrow soap I mean I've never used an eyebrow soap before so I don't really have much to compare it to but I really liked it I feel like it's given my brows a really good shape would highly recommend I like the highlighter however I think I am going to reach for that more as a shadow if I want like a glitter look rather than a highlight I just feel it's a little bit too glittery as a highlight for me it reminds us of when highlight first come in and it was like a big thing and everyone liked the full-on popping glitter highlight but I feel like for me I do prefer a little bit more of a natural highlight so I don't think I'll reach for that as much as an actual highlight and then the loose powder i mean if you're into loose powders you're probably a better person to test this than me i just think loose powders are incredibly messy and it wasn't really easy to use i just feel like it went everywhere but that's probably my just really bad makeup skills and inability to use loose powders hence why i never bloody get them but i thought i would get the one for this video and test it out i really hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the video and i'll see you very shortly for another one bye